Good morning, Calvary. Happy Monday, and I hope you had a blessed Christmas. Pastor Chad is, is here with your, well, I'd say word for the day, but it's really word for the week. Uh, you know, here it is the week between Christmas and New Year's, and we gave most of the pastors the time off uh, to rest, to catch up with family, to travel, to do all those things. And so this is what you get for the week. And, uh, and I really just wanted to, to say hey and, and let you know what's going on and, and encourage you at two points. As you get ready to, to think about 2023, as you get ready to think about this new year, uh, I want to encourage you to do, to do two things. Uh, the first one is read through the Bible this year, or at least read the Bible every day this coming year. Uh, I know lots of Christians who, who make plans and don't follow through, and, and so I'm going to encourage you to pick a reading plan and then stick with it. I read through the Bible on the YouVersion app with uh, some of the staff and some of my life group, uh, and, and we do it together. There's accountability, it's encouraging, and, uh, and it kind of keeps track of where you are in that, and I've done it for a couple of years. I use the uh, Nicky Gumbel, read through the Bible in a year. He's the one who created Alpha. It's got a devotion, and, and then you read a little bit each day, and, and it's a great plan. There's, uh, there's tons of plans you can choose from. But I'm just going to encourage you to get with your life group or get with your family or get with some friends and read through the Bible this year. If, you, if that's a little bit too aggressive or too much to try, then read a chapter of the New Testament every day. Uh, if you do that and you're, and you're faithful to do that, you'll be finished sometime in September. So even if you miss a day or two, you can, you can still finish plenty of time. But let God's Word just be in your life. Because if you really want to experience life change, you know, you need to read and apply God's Word and God will change your life. The, the other challenge that I want to make, and this may sound a little bit crazy, but uh, we're having services this coming weekend, this New Year's weekend. We're going to have our 5 o'clock service on New Year's Eve, Saturday, and then 8, 9, 30, and 11 on Sunday. And it's not going to be a normal service per se. It's going to be a little more uh, focused on just committing our year to Christ. I mean, first of all, we're going to be celebrating communion. So we're going to be giving thanks to Jesus for the blessings of 2022. And we're going to be kind of letting go, releasing the frustrations, the hurts, the anger, whatever it was, the failures of 2022 as well, because we know that God redeems. And then it's going to be an active commitment of saying, okay, Jesus, I'm your follower and I want to live for you in 2023. And, and I want you to bless me, but I want to bless you and honor the name of Jesus. And I know some of you are thinking, that's crazy. You're having a service on New Year's Eve. Yeah, why not come and worship with us at five? And then you can go out and celebrate. Most of you will be done by nine or 10 anyway. And then you can sleep in on Sunday and enjoy the time with family. It's just a great option. And we just want you to start the year off right, worshiping your Savior. So I uh, hope you have a great week and hope you enjoyed the word for the week. Uh, and God bless Calvary.